Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Setup Showdown, where I showcase setups that are submitted through our Discord server, link down below if you want to submit anything. And now, let's get into the show. All right, first setup we have here is by Brian Dude. There's a lot of good stuff going on and it looks like the cable management is just spot on. We're gonna start with the monitor here. This is the Asus VG 278Q 27 inch 1080p 144 hertz monitor. And there's a second monitor, an AOC 27 inch 1080p 60 hertz. And they're side by side and they're matching perfectly right next to each other. For the keyboard, we've got a modded Keychron K6 with novel key screams, lured with Crytox 205G0 and filmed with Deskey's films. You can see on here that the Keychron K6 isn't just your run of the mill Keychron K6. It's painted white and alongside that, it's got custom keycaps on top paired with a custom coiled cable as well that all runs down below the table through a hole. The macro pad is a BDN9, also with novel keys creams and modded the same way. For the desk mat, we've got an HXH custom desk mat. Love it, so fancy looking overall. I'm just loving the decor on the wall behind the monitor. We've got a really cool clock alongside with what I think is a Gundam, reminds me of those good old times. And these are the Bayer Dynamics DT770 80 ohm headphones. For the speakers, we've got the Logitech Z623 speakers. The desk here is an IKEA mom desk with a pull out panel. And the chair, we've got a fancy Herman Miller Aeron chair. Ooh, so fancy. I would love to get my hands on one of those. They're quite pricey, but I've heard that they're 100% worth it. For the CPU, we've got the following parts, an Intel Core i5-8600K CPU. All of this is on an Asus Z370A motherboard. The GPU here is an EVGA GTX 1070Ti FTW2. And for the power supply, we've got the EVGA Supernova 750G 280 plus gold. And the case is a Corsair Spec Omega RGB black, and it is vinyl wrapped in some areas with white. I just really like how everything goes together here with the blue and the white vibes and the black accents as well. Just really pretty. All right, our second setup here is by Jesus with three Z's. He's got some really good purple vibes here. And as you can tell behind me, I've really been loving the purple lately myself. So let's get into it. For the main monitor here, we've got the Alienware 25 240 hertz. Great for gaming, really fast. But above that, we've got a Sansui 60 inch 4k uhd tv and for the keyboard here this is the first time we've seen it on setup showdown this is the ibm model f with capacity buckling springs definitely a unique one and you have to wait a long time to get one of these things but alongside that we've got a pretty basic drop enter tkl as well it's got lubed and filmed gateron ink black switches for the main keys and box jade for the function row and the arrow keys so a mix here of like some low sounding switches with some more louder switches but hey everything's preference right for the mouse we've got the logitech g pro wireless a great wireless option and really great for low latency gaming as well the desk mat here is the steel series qck extra large desk mat the desk is an ikea white linman with two black alex drawers underneath i've seen that a lot pretty common and for the computer here we've got the ryzen 5 3600 cpu all on a B550 Aorus Pro AC. The GPU here is the MSI GTX 1660Ti, and we've got 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z RAM. It's a really popular RAM brand. I would say I, I bought the same thing. And all of this is inside an NCXT H510 Elite black case. Cable management here looks extremely clean. Great vibes overall. And whatever is happening on the wall here, I really like that. I wonder if that's like origami paper or something, but everything looks really clean. Everything fits on one desk. And that's one thing that I really like about this build is that I personally can't fit my PC on my desk. I would love to do that. This is a very clean look and a great viewing experience. All right, for our third setup here, we've got a setup by Z 
Xijian, X Xijian. Honestly, I can't pronounce it, and I'm sorry if I'm just not pronouncing it right. But in contrast to the dark vibes we got on the setup before, we got some now more natural light, more white, more green, more naturey vibes. All right, for the monitor, we've got the electric 25-inch full HDR, 144 hertz. For the keyboard here, we've got the white key move Snow Fox, 61%. It's hot swap, so he did end up lubing his Garon Red with Crytox 205G0. Very smooth. For the mouse, we've got the Logitech G703, all on a Katumo black desk mat. For the IEMs, these are one more triple driver in-ear earphones, and they're black and gold. For the speakers, we've got an Amazon Echo Dot, which is pretty nice to have. One thing I really don't like is how it listens to everything you say. For the desk, we've got the IKEA Linmon with the Adil's legs. The chairs, the IKEA Operative, love that name. And the computer here, we've got something pretty nice. We've got the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X, all on an MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard. We've got the Gigabyte GTX 1660 Super OC GPU. For the case, this is the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX, such a pretty color there. So this is a silent build, and it's also a clean build. And I'm just loving how a lot of people are choosing to go with the single monitor route. It really uh, minimizes distractions. It really lets you focus on exactly what you're doing rather than having something else on the side, which is what I used to do is play the office on one monitor and study and work on the other. And trust me, it was not good. All right, the fourth setup here is by Rizzo. For the monitor here, we've got the Acer Predator XB 271HU 27 inch IPS 140. Hertz. And the secondary monitor on the side is the LG 22MK430 H22 inches IPS 60 hertz. So both IPS, very nice. For the keyboard, we've got the Drop Karina with an aluminum plate, some nice palm jelly keycaps, and silent Gazoo Bubba U4 switches with 62 gram springs. Very quiet build here. For the mouse, we've got the Logitech G305 in white. And we've got the Halu Halo desk mat from Dang Keeps. As for the headphones, we've got the Monoprice M1060. And the DAC amp here is the Fio K3. And the desk, we've got another IKEA desk. This is the IKEA Linman with the Adil's legs as well with the Signum cable management rack mounted underneath. We've got an i7-9700K. All this on a Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Wi-Fi motherboard. EVGA GTX 1070 FTW. And the case is a Thermotech Core G21. Overall, pretty clean setup as well. Really been loving the purple and blue vibes. Very nice look. Now we've got a setup from one of our mods on our Discord channel. This is called Tigo. He also owns his own blog with a friend of his. Check it out at the techfrontier.net. Great reviews, great content there. Let's jump into his setup because it's it's really, really nice for how old he is. I mean, it's nice for any age. This is an amazing looking setup. Everything is well put together, really nicely built, organized. All right, we've got We've got three monitors here. For the main monitor, we've got the Acer Nitro. It's a really nice monitor. We've got two vertical monitors mounted on either side. These are the HP CR24W. There's two of those. And for the keyboard, we've got a Keychron K6 that's hot swap with the aluminum side bezels. The keycaps here are MT3 black on white. And MT3 is a favorite of mine. And these are just clean. For the mouse, we've got the MX Master 3 for productivity work and the Logitech G703 for gaming. All this is on a Mizu Koi desk mat. For the headphones, we've got the Philips Fidelio X2 HRs. And for IEMs, we've got some Linsole Blonde BL03s. For speakers, we've got the Google Nest Mini. And for microphones, we've got the Blue Yeti. And this desk is very big and it's very nice because you can go from sitting to standing and everywhere in between. This is the Uplift Desk V2. And for the CPU, we've got an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, a NVIDIA 2060 Super FE GPU, and all of this is in a Corsair 280X white case with a Corsair H 
100i RGB Platinum SE cooler. I've also got a Elgato Stream Deck here with a Thrustmaster T300 base with the Thrustmaster Open Wheel add-on and some T3PA Pro pedals too. Everything here is just super clean, can be used for gaming, productivity, streaming, any of that, or even just listening to music and relaxing and enjoying yourself. Absolutely amazing setup, very clean, lots of blue vibes. Seems like the theme of this episode was very purple, very blue. All right, so those were all of the setups for this month. Next month, we're going to feature laptop-based setups in particular. So if you do have a really cool, nice-looking laptop-based setup that you want to show off, feel free to submit it using the Discord link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I finally got a dedicated video editing PC upgrade so that I can finally edit all of these videos and actually make it a little bit fancier, although I'm not sure if I'm there yet, but at least I'm getting there, right? That's what counts. If you want to support more videos like this, feel free to check out our Patreon page. There's a lot of good stuff there, and we're always working on more content behind the scenes and exclusive content for our patrons as well. Anyways, thank you so much to our patrons for making this all possible. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.